being known as a track star may feel like you're on top of the world. But to one particular track star, being brought down by adversity has allowed him to stay on top. Runners to your mark. Set. When that gun goes off, it's, it's like just shoot out the blocks as fast as I can. Clayne Vaughn is a student athlete with a track resume that includes being a conference champion, an All-American, breaking school records, and many, many more accomplishments. Well, I think everything is just humbling. You know, I don't, either, either if, if I win or lose, I never get caught up in the hype and I, I never try to dwell on things. But if there's one thing that isn't included in Vaughn's resume, that maybe should be, it's humility. Well, my grandparents, they always, we, I was raised in a church home, so um, just learning from them, they, they were very humble people. And I would say them, plus also the things I've been through. Um, I think I've been through a lot of things that, you know, have been negative situations. Those past experiences include Vaughn getting hurt while in the prime of his career and the passing of his mother. It was it was really hard, you know. I was I was unsure on where I, where I would go from there. I, you know, it was it's things people don't really understand when somebody passes away. You know, you you don't think about the funeral arrangements, the hospital, the getting your mom um, embalmed, and all that stuff. So it's like it was things I didn't really think about. I was like, man, me and my sister and my brother had to go through all these things, and and also dealing with the cost of things. So it was like when I, I hit some low moments and after that happened, like I remember everything she believed that I could do and it just made me want to strive even harder to try to make the dreams she had for me to try to make them come true and try, try to make her uh, proud. And that's exactly what Vaughn has done as he manages to turn his adversity into a positive. I was unsure, you know, if I was still gonna have the same attitude and track because before my mom passed away, you know, it was, I really loved track, it was something fun to do. And, but after she passed away, it was like, I took it a lot more serious. I really wanted to try to be good at, at the sport. And then after my mom passed away, you know, I I ran times where I was one of the top athletes in, in, the, in college and in the U.S. So it just showed that after she passed away and I became more dedicated to the sport and it, it definitely helped me out. Being dedicated has a lot to do with the relationship that Vaughn and his coaches share. Oh, we have a great relationship. You know, I have coaches who who have experience. I have one coach who who's from Great Britain who has Olympic experience, and he gives me, you know, tips and pointers and just his life experiences. You know, he tells me that he sees great potential in me that I could do things in the sport, but he also knows from a firsthand perspective what it takes in the risk factors and the things you have to go through sometimes as an athlete. Clayton is more than an athlete, he's a friend. Um, you know, he knows my wife, We've, you know, he's met my wife before and uh, you know, we speak to each other on and off the track. So he's more than just an athlete to me. He's, uh, you know, he's almost like a part of my family in a way. As important as track is to Vaughn, there's one thing that he puts above. Um, I've always just been focused on like my education um, on top of athletics. Education is very important because for my experience is that I got injured and I needed something to fall back on. And I tell Clayton all the time, if I didn't have education, all I would have had was five years of uh, five years in a school of track and field and eight years as a professional. I had nothing to fall back on. You need something to fall back on. So that's why education is important. And I push with him education way before track and field. Although a sprinter on the track, Vaughn has been preparing himself for a marathon known as life. Education, you know, that's what's going to take me for, further in life. I mean, you live more life, you live more of your life like post athletics than you will with your education than you will just your, your uh, athletic years. So education will carry me, I think, a lot further than uh, athletics will. As Vaughn gets ready to graduate in May, it comes to show you that when you're brought down by adversity, there's a way to get back on top. With UTA, I'm Kevin Mendez.